kick the fences. On this one, we're gonna step left foot out while checking the hand, the foot with the right hand, executing a roundhouse kick with the shin bone right to the opponent's leg. Very strong technique, short, very effective. And the next one, we step out, same kind of check, this time side kick to back of the knee. Remember, it's very important that you get out of the way when the opponents try to kick you. And the next one, you step right foot back while grabbing the side kick and catching it in the air with the left hand and dropping the right backhand right on top of his foot. Let's watch that again together. Stepping back, backhand right on top of the foot. And this one I'm going to take advantage of him standing on a horse stand, stepping right, left, and breaking the neck. Next technique, we do a cross block, stepping right foot back, grabbing both hands, right over left. We're gonna pull the foot up while kicking to the groin and executing a low sweep. Stepping back, cross block, hitting the groin, dropping the foot all the way down so he puts all his body weight on it, and a low sweep. And the next one, we step left foot out. Left hand goes under and reaches over his right toes while you place your right palm underneath the heel and making a big circle clockwise. Pay attention to the footwork and where the hands are being placed. Look at it again, under and over, making a big circle. Remember, all the techniques should be continuous without stopping. On the next one, step right foot back while placing your right hand on top of his toes and the left hand on top of the heel. You're gonna turn the hand, press on the heel while pulling it all the way down. Stepping back, catching the foot, press on the heel, pull all the way going with this force, stepping left foot, then right, you're gonna pick up the neck all the way up while his foot and his leg is in a lock, you're gonna break the back and the neck. On the next technique, same kind of block. We're gonna press the index finger on on the shin bone, stepping back, catching it, right foot forward and left foot back, applying pressure right on the shin bone, very close to the ankle. On the 
next one, we're going to use some takedown techniques. As the kick comes up, step left foot out. Grab under, elbow strike to the thigh, and kick the leg right underneath your opponent. On the next technique, we almost do the same technique, but from the other way, from the right side. Look at it at full speed. Notice that this time you must step right foot out. The left hand hooks while executing a reverse punch, holding on and kicking the leg. On the next technique, we're going to step left foot out and making a big circular motion. Pay attention to the footing. The right hand goes under, kicking the leg with the left foot, turning all the way around. And the next one, we're going to use some kicking against him. Stepping left foot out, checking the foot, doing the outside crescent kick, dropping the heel on the thigh or the face, and kicking the leg right underneath him. This one, we're going to catch the leg with the cross block while stepping back, pulling it downwards and executing jump spinning heel kick to the head. One, we're gonna step right foot back, pull him down, and execute a low sweep. Remembering both of you check both of these techniques, you want to pull your opponent towards you so all his body weight will drop on the leg. Pulling him straight down, pivoting, and a low sweep. On the next one, we're going to execute a jump roundhouse kick. Stepping back, pull down, and jump roundhouse kick. As you see, Kicking techniques are very important in Hapkido. 